Morning, Jake. Morning. What time is it? 8.41. 8.41. Time to tackle Giant and Rocky. Yeah, so we went and looked at those campsites, and that got us. Took us a little out of where we wanted to go, so rather than backtrack, we figured we'd bushwhack it. Um, crossed the water, I think, twice. Uh, I wouldn't count that as crossing the water. You might be able to hear it still. Yep. A little bit of snow on the ground. I've had more snow on the ground in May. Hiking uh, not too far from here, the Great Range area. Oh. All right. So, back on a beautiful trail. So, Alfano, like when you said the other day, the problem you always have is wanting to forge your own path and go straight. It gets thick here, man. And most of the trails pretty much do just go straight. Huh. We moving? Yeah. So. Good day. Look at that. Look at that trail pad. Oh. oh. And it's blocking. Haven't seen this before. Carrot cake edition. Left bar. Uh, look, it could be, listen, listen, hey, you know, I'm surprised my boy here ain't got his pumpkin spice, but. That's right. Hey, those are good. Gingerbread are good, too. Yes, they are. So is the white chocolate macadamia nut. Eh, I don't like those as much. They got the, uh, the salty ones. The salty nut ones now. Those are pretty good. Salt do a real nut butter? <laughs> now, how do you do. So satisfying. How do you. How do you. <laughs> How do you even label something made with real nut butter? Uh, you know. Hopefully this doesn't have too much wobble. Foot placement has become quite crucial. As you can see, all the ice we're running into here. And there are sections on the rock, like here. It's, pretty, it's warmed up enough. There's a lot of stuff like that. And like right there, where we'd almost say like black ice on the road, you know? It just looks wet. Gain some elevation. Oh. So, for all these Gore Tex hating through hikers, I get it. I get it. I'm not a through hiker. Huh. I'm what they call a peak bagger. Not to be confused with a tea bagger, although I may have tea bagged one or two in my time. I've definitely ducked up in some. Huh. No. Oh, in all seriousness, no tea bag. Really. Unless someone really doesn't know what, what it is. You gotta show them. Woo! Oh. It's a beautiful day up here in the mountains. 
Woo! Look at the moss on trees. That's why we're here, man. Check out the moss on trees. The beards. Yes. Um, great fire starter when it's needed in the summer. Uh, the other thing too is, actually, this stuff is, oh, sorry about that. Uh, I mean, this would burn right now. It's very dry. Um, this gets wet oftentimes. And when you get close to that 4,000 foot mark, you'll see it hanging from the rock faces. On a day like today or uh, whenever springtime comes and you're getting that snow melt, you can actually grab it and squeeze it over your water bottle and fill your water with it. It's, uh, it's a natural filter. Um, we've done that before. It's, uh, hey man, nature's way of keeping you alive sometimes. Hey man. Hey man. Come on, man. Hey man. Come on, Hey man, man. where's your fire and safety, man? Oh yeah. Now it's my turn. I was just gonna look as far as being close up or anything, but um, we are uh, a point one from the summit of Giant. Uh, not gonna do Rocky today. Um, it's already 12:30. Um, what I have 4:58, I think, is sundown. <clears throat> and uh, more of a technical, well, everyone can have their own opinion, but all I'm saying is uh, to Rocky Ridge Peak and back over, the trail is much more technical than the trail coming up giant. Um, and this trail is pretty slushy, icy, wet. Uh, if that's as icy as this is in parts, I do, it's going to be real slow going. So uh, Jake's made the decision that uh, gonna come back, pick a day, come back and do the uh, the ridge, the ridge line to Rocky, uh, the traverse. So he just went to scope it out, get an idea of what it was like, waiting for him to come back over, and we'll hit Giant, and head to the car, and uh, I don't know, sandwiches or cheeseburgers or something. But um, along with leaving the spikes in the truck, that's another thing. <clears throat> we brought the stove, we brought meals. We're gonna sit on the lookout, have a hot meal to fuel up. And uh, we didn't bring a lighter. Um, yeah, I guess not being smokers, it's not something we generally have in our pocket. Unless I'm going to the cigar lounge or gonna have a stogie. So uh, yeah, the spikes and the lighters are all still in the truck. So I guess it'll be a good day to stop and eat something on the way home, it's payday anyway. Um, so we got probably another uh, couple minutes to get from here up to the summit and give you guys a little glance. Going that way. And then there's uh there's the views man. There's a killer view right there. Look at that. <laughs> 